Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care. In this episode, I would like to explain corneal ulcers, which can be a very serious infection on the surface of the eye. As you remember, the cornea is the clear shield that covers over the front of the eye to let the light pass into the eye. And if the surface breaks down or bacteria invades into the cornea, it can cause an infection, which we call a corneal ulcer. Now, there can be a lot of different causes of this, but the number one cause that we see is related to contact lens wear. Now, wearing contact lenses overnight, sleeping in contact lenses, is very dangerous. It increases the risk of a corneal ulcer at least by 400%, and we recommend for all our patients never to sleep in their lenses, although you will see advertisements and contact lenses saying that you can sleep in them, it's still dangerous. Other causes can be patients that are using steroid eye drops, which lowers their immune system some in the cornea and can allow the bacteria to invade and cause the infection. Uh, other people at risk are people that had eye surgery, including corneal transplants, or other types of infections like a virus infection of the eye can lead to a bacterial ulcer. So when people have this, they may notice that their eye is red or running tears or having pain, or they may notice that their vision is getting worse. Um, there's no way to know if this is actually from a corneal ulcer unless we take a look with an eye exam because there's a few other things that could cause some of these type of problems, even um, just a regular conjunctivitis or pink eye. So by looking with the microscope, we can get a very good look at the cornea. And if we see signs of infection where it can be turning white and the surface is broken down on the front of the eye, then we know it's a corneal ulcer. At this point, we may choose to take a culture of the ulcer to see what exactly is causing it because it could be from bacteria or even a fungus or a parasite, although bacteria is the most common. With this, then we will start treatment and primarily it's by antibiotic drops. There are some antibiotic drops available commercially just from the pharmacy with prescription, but sometimes we have to go to stronger compounded antibiotic drops that are made specially by a specialty pharmacy individually for that patient. Uh, these ones we need sometimes if the infection is not getting better with regular antibiotics or if we think that it's severe and need to go to the stronger antibiotics right away. If it continues to get worse and we can't get it under control, it could be caused by a fungus or some of more unusual types of infections. And then if it's not getting better, it could even lead to thinning of the cornea and maybe a corneal transplant in severe cases. But most of the time, people do recover with antibiotics and it can be adequately treated. Hopefully it won't leave a scar behind because if it does, that can permanently interfere with the vision. So if you have any questions about corneal ulcers or if you've ever had one, please post. We'd be happy to hear your comments and interact with you. And we hope to see you again soon next time on A State of Sight.